Okay, um, good morning everyone. Um, hope everyone is having a good day. And uh, today's topics, uh, which I just want to quickly bring to um, another topic, which is called DMAX functions. Um, if you could remember that uh, I went through max functions in the last uh, uh, part series of the Excel trainings, which I was doing. And um, if you haven't gone through, maybe you can check the parts, uh, the last uh, part, which was, uh, I think was part 13, if I could remember. But this is now part 14. Um, today, we just want to cover all the things uh, on Excel that are relating to maximum values that you want to retrieve from the data. This DMAX is very, very important, uh, especially it's used when you have a kind of complex database and uh, you want to retrieve, um, you want a kind of criteria that need to be met uh, for that uh, field of data to retrieve that data from that particular field. Uh, and you have a criteria, you have a field, you have a database. And you can see that the Excel DMAX functions returns the, uh, the maximum values uh, in a field from a set of records that match that criteria. Uh, you can also use the, the minimum functions to get the minimum values. I'm going to take you to the minimum functions um, in the next series. And uh, this time around, the purpose is just to get uh, get maximum for matching record. And you want to ret and the returning values is maximum values on a given field. And these are all the ag argument. Uh, if you look at, you must have a database. Uh, a database is just a set of informations where you have the the title on each one of the uh, cell and each one of these columns has a set of informations. So you have title here and you have data information. You have this are all your database. And your database can be one sheet of info and also be in different sheet. Depends on what you want to get. So I'm going to have an example which I'm going to take you through. And your field must be, uh, you can see your field is a field names or indexed account. Uh, these are completely required. This indicates which columns is used in the functions. And you enter the labels and close between the double quotations, e.g. If you have a field that's called age, if you have a field that's called you. Take for example, imagine if you have this name of this title on each uh, columns field. Uh, imagine if you have the name is price, name of the employees, the age, um, so these are your field. These are fields that you want to target. This will tell you the field field, field names, and the criteria will uh, give you the criteria, including the heading. So imagine the criteria could be criteria will definitely be linked to uh, any similar informations in this particular database, and you must have the criteria in separate places that you want to target. So I will show you how it's gone. So, and uh, so, so that, that DAX max is extremely very, very important. As I said, when you have a very complex data on your, on your systems and you want to retrieve, uh, you want a certain criteria to be met. And what the max will do, it will go into your database, look for all the criteria and return that uh, the range of uh, the the argument that you have put in down so it will return it based on the criteria that you're actually looking for so let's assume in that uh, let's go through the example at the moment let's assume in that uh, uh, this is your database uh, let's assume you have a very small database you can have huge database depends on what you want to do you have the product names uh, you have the locations where the product is and the quantity of that product, the price and the total price. Uh, total price is when you might times the, the price plus the quantity that will give you the total price. And these are criteria that you want to fulfill. Uh, you, you can see here the same title. Uh, we have the same title. Uh, something is wrong. Uh, here we have the same title, which is the product name, the location, quantity. These are the things you want to fulfill. Uh, you must have the same title here to match up with your database. And what we want to do, we want this uh, DMAX to look at the field, uh, the database under the product name red that is located in, in Dover. 
what do you want to return you can either return the quantity the total maximum quantity you can also return the maximum price per unit or you can also return the total price so let's use this as that you want to get the maximum values uh, from the field uh, uh, price let's assume that uh, from the field let's say from the field product instead of this one this one is the price uh, let's say from the field product where the where the uh, product uh, let's assume that changes where the product uh, is red uh, you can see here where the product is red and the quantity is greater than two with this formula let's assume that you just put greater than two here so these are your as i said these are your criterias you are actually looking for uh, this is very important this is your database let's say that this is a database database uh, this is where your database is and this is your criteria and your field is this one anything here pointing to here is your, your field so these are your field field can be a product can be locations can be quantity can be price but anything you are after returns has to be in numbers that you are want to get a maximum of so these are your database and these are your criteria sorry criteria so just to uh, separate these are the criteria you want to meet uh, so so now let us go to the if function and this is where you have your result let's assume that this is your result this is your result that you want to retrieve then you go to d max d max functions d max functions so so we are talking about database remember i said this is your database so I, I said this is your database sorry about this i said this is your database this is your database so what you need to do from your database you have to uh, start from the beginning of where the database which is a7 you have to include the title names down to east then down so you have to use you, you have to that means you have to select all the information on your database i start from the product which is a7 down to where e6 and the system is telling you where is the field which field are you want to retrieve the maximum from you can retrieve the maximum from the price unit price or you can retrieve from the total price let's assume i want to pick up the field uh, the field is always has to be a title name please notice the title name on each columns and the title name we are trying to uh, get the maximum is total comma criteria is this for you to select the criteria you have to select it from the from the top of the from the e3 down to you can see here from e3 down to e4 because you you want to fulfill look at this database check uh, the values of the products uh, where the is called red located in uh, Dover that has a quantity is greater than two and tell me which one is it has the maximum price so that's what it's going to do and if you enter it's telling you it's 45 so it's meeting those criteria so let's check we have red red this it will ignore this you will look at Dover Dover is this one this one is greater than two you can see here this one is Dover and this one is all so you will look at only this one so imagine if we have red and uh, we have more Dover here and uh, so take for example imagine if we have another red and it's located in Dover and it's about um, four and the unit price let's assume that we have a unit price and it's giving you that so let's let's do another thing that might be too fun so now let's retrieve the database we want the database to include all this see let's see what it's going to do it will pull out this only pull out the maximums because it ignored the uh, the quantity 
he knows that the quantity is greater than 2, which is 3. Uh, 3 is above 2 and 4 is above 2. So he will not pick up the, the price, total price for the 5. He will go to the maximum, which is 224. If you if you in change this uh, the quantity, let's assume that if we are looking for a quantity only 3. See? It will only pick up this. It will ignore this. If you look at the quantity less than, you see, if you say less than, it will say zero because it's looking at the database. Look, uh, on this database, red, we only have three quantities. Anything quantity less than three, it's, it's not. Yeah, so you, you, the result, it doesn't. There's no. There's no result. So that's why it's nil. So imagine if I change this one to uh, blue. I change the criteria as blue. And uh, and I put this one to Kent. So this one is now Kent. And blue, let's assume that anything that is greater than 372. See, it's giving me a result here. You can also indicate this price as well. Uh, look, at, look at Kent. Uh, we're only looking at any price that is greater than 11. It's still going to be the same if you say anything less than 11 you give me nothing because what is doing now is looking at a product called blue located in kent and uh, the quantity we made that criteria which is here uh, more than three but the price unit price we don't have any unit price less than uh, 11 so that's why it's giving us zero Except if you change this unit price greater than 11, it will give, it will give me a result of 72. So this is how to use uh, uh, DMAX. Uh, it's very, very important functions, especially when you have uh, a huge database and that uh, you want to retrieve uh, data information from. And uh, uh, you are not sure, as long as you have this database, and your criteria, you have to understand your criteria, the, the title name of your criteria must match the title name on your database. But it's not necessary. You can also have ordinary product that you want to pull out. But it's always good to have that kind of matching uh, uh, requirement so that your criteria title names match up with this. So any, 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 any criteria that you want to pull out from here, uh, you will look at the database. Okay, can, can I have blue? Blue is here. Can I have Kent in location? You managed to locate Kent. So, so all it's doing is you're looking at each one of these criteria. Once you can able to fulfill all these criteria, then you will give you the maximum result. And you can also use it also here for price as well. Same thing. Um, let's assume that you have house names, uh, the name of your house, locations. <laughs> The city where the uh, numbers of houses where they located, the price, the rent for one and the rent for two. That's how you have two rents that you receive. Uh, and uh, you have this, uh, this is your database, as I indicated before. And this, uh, this table is your criteria. So you can see here, we have criteria, we have database. So now let's look at the, max, the, the maximum functions. The maximum functions, uh, look, we have to select the uh, database. And the database starts from uh, A6 down to uh, F16, comma. Which field are you looking for? Let's assume that I'm looking for, I want to target the field to uh, rent one. Okay, that's the field that you want to target. That's your field, you can see here, this field and uh, comma and uh, so what are your criteria you have to select from a2 down to uh, e uh, down to f3 and you close that so it's telling you 72 so you can see here yes yeah, 72 jam has the maximums so if you change this one to uh, let's assume it down change it to yen it was telling you 61. So if you, where is yen is located? We have yen, yen located in London. It's the, we meet up the criteria. We are looking for a city. 
uh, let's say 19 above 1 still meet up that criteria but if we're looking for anything less than the, um, 50 thousand she's still telling you it's zero but anything greater than 50 thousand is 61 so because it's looking at again uh, as long as all these criteria are met you can also even include the date um, let's assume that if you pick up a wrong date here uh, this is Jane you can see here it's zero because it's looking at this date this date is only allocated to the Dover so it's not the state is not uh, it's not London it's Dover so 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 all the criteria that you want to select based on this uh, uh, the max functions that is what it's going to bring us so i hope you guys enjoy this uh, uh, lectures and um, if you don't mind um, so have a great day so uh, if you enjoy it don't forget to uh, follow us and uh, subscribe and uh, next topics we're going to have uh, the minimum functions uh, which will be uh, part uh, 15 series of this uh, lectures so you have a great day and um, bye for now. Thank you. Bye.